big as you got. It's been three months since I fished a meaningful tournament. Three months. February. And uh, I've had a nasty taste in my mouth since Lake Norman. So thankfully, finally, the fishing gods have smiled upon us and we get to go to High Rock Lake this weekend. We go to High Rock Lake for not one tournament not two tournaments but three tournaments in eight days it is a true high rock lake triple header and uh, as you know uh, the entire world stopped in, in march and uh, the fishing industry uh, stopped as well the tournament fishing industry took a pause as well thanks to coronavirus and uh, so every all the tournaments from march until about may 30th were postponed luckily not canceled i don't i don't think anything's been canceled the tournament directors and flw as a whole has done really good at picking up that you know two months of three months of the season and jamming it into this summer and finding dates and working with local bodies of water and cities and and uh trying getting permits all that kind of stuff i know what it takes to 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 do all of that and, I, and i'm really grateful that they did that but part of that is there is going to be a couple of times where we're working with three tournaments in a row, two tournaments in a row on Saturdays and Sundays. So it puts a lot on the plate of the anglers, especially the anglers like me that are fishing two divisions. And I am, if you follow me at all this year, you'll know I'm fishing the Piedmont division, which starts this weekend and I'm fishing the North Carolina division, which has only had one tournament this year and on Lake Norman. And if you've seen the video, you know how that went for me. So I'm itching to get back out there. I mentioned, I mentioned, itching to get things back started um, and it starts June 6th High Rock Lake and uh, look I know uh, I, I've had a little success on High Rock Lake and everybody looks at the two videos me finishing second me finishing fourth I didn't you know how many texts I must have got hey you must be really excited you're going to High Rock Lake this weekend you know what I am but it's not like I'm like chomping at the bit because I know what's going on up there I don't I haven't been you know I, I, I've, you really want to, I mean, why don't you go back and look at the very first high rock video I did three years ago, 2017, where it was all I could do to catch one keeper fish. Okay. So that's what scares me and scares me to death. And you know, it's not from these events. It's not, it's not what you take from your successes. It's what you take from your defeats. And I know what I did that first tournament and it didn't work. So I'm not doing that again. And I know what I did in the second event there in 2018 that worked a little better i know what i did last year and that, that worked pretty good too so I'm, I'm taking what i the things i've done that haven't worked for me on high rock lake and i'm trying to use those to my advantage instead of taking what has worked and and truth truthfully i'm going into this event in the next three events in these next three events in eight days i'm going into these events with a completely clean slate i'm not you know, I am not at all going to fish my history. I have some waypoints there now that I like. I have some techniques there that I like, but I am not going to this event this coming Saturday and saying, okay, I'm going to this, this mark and I'm going to grind on it hard. I'm going to, I'm going to fish this spot all day long until they bite. I'm not doing that. I'm going to completely break down high rock Lake, um, from scratch all over again. Um, and so, you know, three events in eight days, it adds a different dimension to this thing. And not the, the tricky part is going to be the next, the, the second weekend, the 13th and the 14th. And the North Carolina division has double headers that, you know, that weekend. Um, there, there, there's a rescheduling situation. The Lake Wiley tournament was canceled, not well, yes, canceled, and the location was moved to High Rock Lake and put and placed a day after the originally scheduled June 13th event, 
Works out fine. That's good. But it adds a extra layer there of difficulty on Sunday. And why? First thing, there's probably going to be a hundred, at least a hundred boats of that thing on Saturday. I wouldn't be surprised if it was 150. I don't know. But there's going to be a lot of boat traffic. There's going to be a lot of pressure on that lake on Saturday. Fish are going to be just pressured as hard as you can imagine. So, and there's probably going to be hundreds of fish caught on Saturday. So then you're supposed to run back out there on Sunday, fish these beat up areas, fish these pressured, find these pressured fish and, and get them to bite. It's going to be super tough on that Sunday. Um, but I will say from my experience on High Rock, it is a pattern lake. So you can get on a pattern and, and run the whole lake um, with that pattern. If that's true, if I'm able to go up there this week, find a pattern, I'm assuming I will be able to run that entire lake for the next eight days and, um, and work that same pattern and hopefully find 15 giant bass. That's the goal. You know, the goal is to really do good in this event. Uh, really really good i've gotten so close twice here on high rock lake and um the first you know in 2018 i finished second place uh last year i finished fourth place and uh, just to fish away both times both times i was one bite away um and getting so close makes you want it even more and i, and I really do want i want it for multiple reasons i need great events uh for more than just personal reasons um, if you look at the standings in the North Carolina division, now granted we've only had one event, but I did not do great in that event and I'm like backs against the wall. So June 13th and 14th when we go there, um, I'll have an opportunity to get healthy really quick. If I have two really good days in a row on Norman, I'm sorry, if I had two really good days in a row on High Rock, I can jump up the point standings real, you know, really quickly. Uh, the goal I'll say this, but the goal again is to get in the top 45 so you can make the regionals. If you're just scratching the top 45, you're not doing much. Ultimately, the goal is to like be number one in the point standings, win an event, you know, have really good results. Um, I want to do I want to do better than just the bare minimum. But again, the bare minimum gets me where I want to be, which is the regional championships, uh, which is the James River in October. So it's going to be difficult. It's going to be difficult. June 13th and 14th, uh, with all the pressure that's going to be on that lake, not just the guys fishing it in tournaments, man, but the guys fishing it during the week, all the boat traffic, the pontoon boats, the jet skis, the center consoles, everybody, there's going to be a lot of pressure on the lake. It's going to be busy. So fishing a certain way that's a little bit different than what everybody else is doing, I think is going to be important. Finding areas that other people haven't found is going to be really important. There's a lot to break down. And like I said, I know I've had some success on this lake, but I am going into this with a completely clean slate. You know, I'm 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 not at all fishing my history. Uh, and by that, I mean, I know I have some waypoints, but I'm not going to certain spots on this lake and be like, well, I caught him here last year. I should be able to catch him here this year. Nope, nope, nope. You will get in trouble doing that fishing, fishing your, your history. So I'm going to fish um, completely new areas. I don't know if fish are shallow. I don't know if they're fish are deep or somewhere in between. I don't know where they are. I haven't been there and I have done zero research. I've done zero research on purpose um, because I don't want to have my mind made up. Oh, there's a shad spawn going on. Okay, cool. I'm going to go up there and, you know, fish that shad spawn. Oh, the spawn is still going on. Okay, well, let's go up there and see if we can find some bedding fish. Nope. I'm not going into this event with my mind pre-made up on what I should be doing. I'm going to go into these next three events knowing that I have to find a winning pattern. And that winning pattern is probably going to be something nobody else is doing. So I am investing a lot of time this week into High Rock Lake. I work with such good people. I work at Camping World and I work with really good people that, that really kind of support what I do and they support what my goals are in, as far as my fishing career. So I get off. I wouldn't say I get off anytime I want, but I get off a lot of the time I want. And I use all my vacation during the year on these events. So I've taken off Wednesday, Thursday, Friday this week uh, and actually going up Tuesday night. So I'll be in High Rock Tuesday night, getting a bright and early start Wednesday. And it's 12 hour days, 12 hours on Wednesday, 12 hours on Thursday. Um, hopefully, if I haven't gotten it figured out by 12 o'clock at, uh, at noon on Friday, we're in a world of trouble. 
So usually I like to fish a half a day on Friday, but we're going to put in a lot of time this week on high rock because I, I just I have to find the winning pattern. I have determined that bass fishing is all about two things, patterns and angles. What are the fish doing at that moment in time? What are they eating on? And can you present your lure to them in a specific angle that triggers them to bite? Um, I've seen that time and time again. I have outfished people from the back of the boat because of my angles, because of my presentation. And I have been outfished by guys in the back of the boat because of their angles, because of their presentation. So um, I've discovered that over the last couple of years. And it's, it's something that uh, you could be all around big fish, but it's not doing the right thing to get them to bite. So the goal is to figure out what do I need to do to get those big fish, those big high rock seven pounders to bite. And I've been a giant fish away twice from winning this event. A kicker fish away each time. You know, caught a bunch of four pounders up there, but you need like six pounders to win. You need a kicker fish to win a BFL. Sometimes you need to. It's going to take 20 pounds each event over the next eight days to win market 20 plus it has taken 20 plus every time and um it's a challenge throw in the the added um compression of, of events the, the added double header next weekend uh three events in eight days it's not just three days of fishing guys it's 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 practice too it's wednesday thursday friday saturday this week then the following week it's wednesday thursday friday saturday and sunday by sunday it's gonna be if you're like me and you're fishing three events in these eight days and you're practicing too by the next sunday you are gonna be beat slammed to death so it's kind of important to be in shape physically like your back needs to be strong your your legs need to be strong so you can stand up for eight, for 12 hours a day like it's going to be it's going to be it's going to be a battle it's going to be a battle on your body it's going to be you you're going to need really good nights of sleep you need to stay hydrated it's, it's going to be hot it's going to be everything so it is going to be a, a true battle and with the elements with the fish and with your own body no doubt about it um because it's, it, it's tough people it's, my grandma said fishing was a lazy man's game there ain't nothing lazy about what i do there ain't nothing lazy you won't ever see a seat in the front of my deck i just don't i don't never sit down and i, I don't never stop and uh so nothing i do about this is lazy it's very very demanding it's grueling and this amount of fishing that's about to happen is, is going to take a toll on your body. So if, if you're like me and you're fishing these next two weeks here, you better have your, you better be ready. You better have a, a good plan put together to make sure you can get through it. And uh, you're not about to pass out comes next Sunday, which is, it's going to be tough. Let's just leave it at that. Um, look, I know I've, I've had some, some good success on High Rock and and i think it's important to learn from your successes but what's more important is learn from your failures i get messages all the time hey i, I saw your high rock video it looks like you did good i bet you're excited to go back uh for three events this year no i'm not any more excited to go to high rock than i am to dag on go fish a club tournament somewhere um this is just another event at another location and i'm not taking what I did really good over the last two years at High Rock. I'm not taking that and and, and trying to um, have confidence in, in what I've done good. I'm taking that first year of High Rock. Nobody's seen that video. Nobody's looked back at 2017 and saw how I struggled so bad on High Rock. You know, I'm gonna take what I did in 2017 and how I barely caught one fish all tournament. I'm gonna use that as motivation. I'm gonna use that as a learning experience and, and learn from that. And I'm gonna remind myself what not to do this weekend, what didn't work, all right? That, that's gonna be even more important than, than learning from your success, learning from my successes that I've had at High Rock Lake. Um, but we'll see how it goes. It's an important, these next three events are very important. Every event is important. And I say that almost every, every preview video, it's so important, blah, blah, blah. It is though, it is though. Next weekend's incredibly important um, because I get an opportunity to jump back in the points race. You know, I laid an egg on Lake Norman. Um, I didn't fish good at all. I remember that. I remember, I remember all the time just how bad I fished 
Like I didn't even cast good. It was just, I don't know what was wrong with me that day, but I just, I did not have a good event and I want to come back strong here. I want to do well. Um, and like, I'm still looking for that first victory. Like I, just, I can just envision myself one day winning one of these things. And I want to win it bad and I need to win it. I've been saying since um, the hype video that I that I posted that this is a prove it year. I, I'm trying to prove it to myself. If I want to take the next jump in my fishing career, whatever that next jump is, the next step is, I have to prove it to myself that I can do this at this level first. And three events in the next eight days, um, if I'm able to pull off a victory in one of one of those. Um, that would be a, a big, big, big thing for me. It would be a, a, a major way to prove it for me. And, and, and like, I want that. I want that first victory. I want it bad. And um, I'm going to do everything I need to do on my end to hopefully pick one of those up over the next eight days. Heck, maybe pick three up. How awesome would that be? I will say this real quick, and I'm going to close out. If you get on some really good fish on Saturday. Um, and you have another event there on Sunday. From my experience, High Rock Lake is a pattern lake. And those patterns typically seemingly hold from, from week to week. So if you're on them pretty good on Saturday and we have another event there Sunday, um, it's a pretty good chance you could you could do really, really good there and, and make a lot of money in one weekend. And uh, so, yeah, we're looking forward to it. I'm ready to get started. I'm actually getting ready to leave here in just a few minutes and uh, start my trip west to Salisbury. I appreciate you following and look, uh, I don't even know what else to say. Let's just go fishing. How about that? See ya.